We're idiots because we keep buying the wrong piece. Do, 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 do. Calling all idiots. And now it's making this sound and this popped up. And when I look over here, I think it's overheating. I'm not exactly sure. Yesterday, the, uh, let me just rewind. We took out our heaters and we didn't cap off the hoses. And apparently the coolant slash antifreeze, they're used interchangeably, run through the system through that even though you don't use your heaters you want to cap it off so then it keeps in the car and runs to cool off your engine well we didn't do that we started driving to go on the road to a wedding and it started overheating as i was driving it so i pulled over in a planet fitness parking lot and it just yes. died shout and that's why it's taking up yeah seriously shout out to planet fitness logan square because the general manager is super nice shout out to tyler <laughs> I thought you were gonna say more. No, no, um, seriously, help us out so much yesterday. Yeah, for super real, kind. super kind. So yeah, if you're taking out your heaters, please make sure to cap off the hoses because it'll keep the coolant and or antifreeze uh, in your system and then it'll keep your engine cold running at a normal temperature. So we have to figure out how to put coolant into the engine when we have no mechanic experience and we're gonna see how this goes. Like always, we use YouTube and it should work in our advantage and I'll keep you updated. There he goes, under the bus, his favorite task. I don't even know. We're heading right back, we're heading right back. Too big? Yeah. Give me a, a phone. Per usual, heading back to Home Depot for the 500th time because we bought the wrong size. Oh, we got... I don't know what these are, hose clamps and plugs. plugs. What? No way, he says half inch doesn't work either. It has to be smaller. I don't know, it seems like you can get in there, but like, it is really hard. What? To get it in, what else? Wait, so too small or too big? Too small, not too big. Ugh. Someone give us a break. Yeah, so remember how I said it was uh, half inch fittings? Well, I lied. We went back to Home Depot and now we have like three eighths, I think. Uh, three eighths, wait. Oh yeah, three eighths galvanized malleable plug. I saw Vietnam and I'm like, that's not it. <laughs> Vietnam plugs. One of them Vietnam plugs. But no, this is what we're using. I swear this better work, so stay tuned. Here you go. One plier, one hand. Let me crawl underneath here so I can show you what just happened. So we have two heaters that were removed, one in the front, one in the back. We removed them. And so when you cut them, you need to cap them off so the coolant and the antifreeze stays running in the engine and keeps the engine at a normal temperature. So we got 3 8 galvanized plugs. That's what these are. You put them in. And then you take these hose clamps, I forget what size these are, but you put them down and you use a flathead to uh, tighten them. And so this is gonna plug these hoses off so the coolant or antifreeze, whatever you call it, uh, keeps going in the system. And so that's what he's doing at the front now over there. Ah, spider web. It. When I tell y'all it's hot, no, oh my god, fine. you're dying. Nice. Now, where's the coolant? Oh my god, it tells us. Engine coolant. Okay. Yeah, it smells like Badissi. While he's looking at that, I'll show you what we're putting in it which of course we double checked and we also asked the people at AutoZone and this is what we're using on our Chevy uh, Starcraft C5500. Chevy, Chevy C5500. If this could go any more worse. All right, I'll hold for you? Yeah, hold it. Okay. And then slow down so you can check. 
delicious. Drink up, lady. It should be. I don't even think you guys could see that, so it's pointless. Wait, hold on, put the cap on. Come out and then of course just check your-, your We're checking our fittings and we're checking for air bubbles right now. Let me check underneath here. 